how do you copy content from perplexity without involving these numbers that are usually found at the end of a paragraph or a sentence in your perplexity answer now in case you didn't know these are called citation numbers and they are there to indicate where the AI got the information from. So I think this is actually quite a useful feature, especially if you want to double check everything that was generated by AI, just to make sure that the information is accurate and factual. But the problem is if you want to present this document to the website or you know somewhere else, usually most of the time you're going to remove these citation numbers, especially when they are not needed. Now, if I copy the content, and if I go to sort of markdown editor, you will see that the citation numbers will be included when I copy the content from the perplexity answer. And it doesn't look pretty. So let me paste the content. And as you can see, there are a lot of links at the end of the article. And there is also these citation numbers at the end of the paragraph. So if you want to remove this, then there are multiple ways, multiple methods where you can get rid of these numbers, citation numbers, when you copy the content from Perplexity. The first method is by using a Chrome extension. You can go to Chrome Web Store and click on it. And you want to search for an extension called Perplexity. And you want to click this and click Add to Chrome. So this extension is available on Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave, and many other Chromium-based browsers. So I think a lot of people can use this extension to copy content from Perplexity. Now, the extension has been installed. I'm going to go back to Perplexity. And let's refresh this page. Let me scroll down. And as you can see, there is a new setup button. This is actually an extension for people that are managing website but we can just use this basic copy clean feature so this button when you copy when you click it it will copy the content from perplexity but it's not going to include all the references and also the citation numbers at the end of the paragraph so let me go back to the markdown editor so this is the original document with a lot of citation numbers now i'm going to remove them let's paste the content and as you can see the new version is a lot cleaner there is no citation numbers at the end there is also no references link at the end of the paragraph or the, the document and i think it's a lot more presentable than the original document with a lot of numbers so that's one method there's also another method that i think it's quite obvious for a lot of people including myself but if you never tried this then you should try using this method now let me give another follow-up to this answer from ai i will ask it to redo it again but without adding citation numbers so that's really a simple prompt that you can send to perplexity to basically redo everything but this time around there is going to be no citation numbers at the end of the answer so this is the answer and as you can see it's a lot cleaner but of course it's probably going to include the references the credit at the end but at least the citation numbers won't be there and i think that's quite a convenient feature that you can use to basically clean the content from the ai so basically we're using ai to clean the content from ai so that's uh, one another method that you can try so with that being said it is possible to do something, to ask something on perplexity, but you can specifically ask it to not include the citation numbers on the answer. So for example, in this prompt, I'm just asking about the latest AI news. I'm going to copy this and I will also basically include this section of the prompt. I'm going to ask the AI in perplexity to not include citation numbers. So let me add a new thread on perplexity. Let's paste that and I will specify that do not include citation numbers on the answer. And there you go. And I want to make sure that I'm enabling everything here, making sure using the pro search and finally send the prompt to perplexity. In theory, we should not be seeing the citation numbers but unfortunately 
we can still see that there are some numbers here at the end of the paragraphs so maybe we have to use a different prompting or maybe a different ai model this method in particular admittedly is not very consistent sometimes i get it right sometimes i don't and that's why perhaps the first uh, one uh, the first method and the second method are probably the best to get the content from perplexity without the citation numbers but either way if you find this video to be useful then please consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you on the next video take care